I was living in, in northern Wyoming at this time, and I was very conscious that Wyoming people are violent homophobes um, to the point of death and destruction. And so I was in uh, one of the state's most delightful bars, the Big Mint Bar in Sheridan one night. And some guys were playing pool over by the, the little set-off room where the pool table was. And I noticed that leaning against the wall was this old guy who was uh, an old cowboy with his scuffed up boots and his stained hat, obviously still working at the trade. And he was looking at the guys playing pool with an expression that was different, very unusual expression. It was kind of longing and sad and odd, and I couldn't quite figure it out. And then after a while, I began to wonder if maybe he was gay. And then I thought, well, what would it be like to be, and he was in his mid-60s or so, I'd say, what would it be like to be an old cowboy who was gay and who lived in a place where to be gay was asking to be really seriously hurt? So I began thinking about it, and I thought about it for months and months and months and months. And, and as I thought about it, the story began to take some shape. And so I wrote it. It's a beautiful story. I, I wonder how, did it feel intrusive to have someone reinterpret it? How did, how did you find the experience of it being adapted to film? Um, it was fine. I didn't have anything to do with the film, being well aware that film and, and print on the page are two very different things. And I would not have let anyone else make that film, but I trusted Larry McMurtry, who knew the, you know, who knew the place. He understood it, uh, having come from a similar place himself in Texas. And I spent quite a lot of time with Ang Lee beforehand. We went tooling around the northern part of Wyoming and up into the uh, up into the mountains, and they couldn't film it there because there was no infrastructure, no planes, no nothing for a movie company. So they went up to Canada, and I think they used Calgary as the base. There are planes that go in and out every single day. There are restaurants, all that kind of good stuff. And um, the production manager did a very good thing, though. She went around Wyoming and took thousands of photographs, and then she went around Saskatchewan with her photographs and found matching country. So that even people from Wyoming thought the film had been shot in Wyoming. They didn't read the filmed in Saskatchewan line. <laughs> And you were, ha were you happy with the finished product? Yes, I was very happy with it. I thought the acting was magnificent, and that Ang did a did a, a splendid job. the uh, The only problems I had with it were early on. One of the the New York producer didn't like the language. He didn't think that anybody would understand what he called Western lingo, and so he wanted to change everything to television speak. And uh, I protested mightily, and Larry acquiesced. So the language stayed. The language that was in the story remained, and people didn't have any trouble understanding it. People Miracle. are a bit less stupid than uh, is often thought, I suspect. <laughs> yeah, well, New York people, what do they know? <laughs> <laughs>